and uh, welcome to episode 12 of Alaska Real Estate Talk. Um, today we have Lance Davis here with uh, Les Bailey and Associates welcome. and Tracy Ottinger, of course, with Residential Mortgage. We're really excited to bring you some energy saving tips and tricks and just kind of, you know, go over some different um, thoughts about the um, chatter chatter around energy saving tips out there. So yeah. Tracy, I know you did some research and different things to that. If, what were you surprised by or what did you find out that um, people might might be helpful for people? Well, the one thing that I, that I know, not really surprised by, um, that a lot of people don't realize is that when you buy a new house, you can um, hire an energy rater, and he can come in and rate your house, and then you can do energy upgrades. And if you're using Alaska Housing Financing, um, depending on what your upgrades are, you could lower your rate by up to a quarter percent within the first year. So, so you're not talking new construction, are you? Both. Well, well you, you, yeah. So that's a good. <laughs> Just question. to be clear, yeah. <laughs> new construction. If you're building it and you're using Alaska Housing Financing you, depending on the existing rating of that home, can also qualify for a rate reduction if you're using Alaska Housing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, and that's a good point. I mean, is sometimes that's the best, I mean, that's the best time to upgrade maybe your energy rating and new construction is during that process. I know it typically costs, what, do you know what the cost is? A few thousand dollars more to go from a four to a uh, five star rating and... Yeah, it's it's a couple thousand dollars and, and honestly, most of these builders are building, building five star. star. Yeah. Homes. It's to get what that to go wants. from a five star to five star plus home is is a little bit more. You know, it means they got to go with usually like a ninety eight percent efficiency. You know, heating system and and just you know upgrade. Well, a few the dehumidistats and all that yeah. other stuff because they build the home so tight when they get to that five star plus that they actually have to suck the moisture out because then. It becomes too tight. Too and we're tight. living in our in our own festering yeah. in our goo, I guess. Right. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear about that you need to get fresh air coming and going yeah. through your house, yeah, yeah. so they do have the systems that suck it right. out. Right, we actually have that system, and yeah. I had no idea what it was when we moved in because our house was built so energy efficient. We had these circles in our ceiling, and I was like, "What? That's what is that?" Yeah. And it's an air exchanger yep. that yep. exchanges fresh air in and out of your house. Right. So. You got filters and different things, yeah. and it's another HRP. system to maintain. It is. I learned yeah. that too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One more thing yeah. to maintain. But it's definitely it um, good questions for the consumer when they're building a house to talk to their builder. You know, what rating is are you building my house to, and mm -hmm. how does that affect my bills that I'm paying, my mm -hmm. energy bills? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, I know on our, our old house, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, we had an older house and it was the original boiler uh, system and and we actually did the AHFC uh, energy, energy rebate, rebate program. Which, which is no longer... It's not yeah, available anymore, but there was no lots funding. of things that we did to the house that uh, you can do to your house now. If you just know you're not going to get, you know, money back from, or a rebate from AHFC, but you're going to... Save a lot of money. Alaska Health Housing over, Finance yes, Corporation. You're going to save a lot of money, <laughs> you know, over time in in you know util utility costs because our original boiler. I remember it was in November, I think, of 2007. And we had that really cold you right. know, November, mm -hmm. and our gas bill was like six hundred and four dollars oh in one month. Yeah. And so we swapped that out with a new 98 percent efficiency boiler and. The worst my gas bill was moving forward was like two hundred and thirty dollars. That's a month. really good point because we recently experienced the same thing this year. We have a shop and a house, so we have you know heating both of them. Um, our our gas bill has been five six hundred dollars a month mm -hmm. in the winter, and they came out and told us you know the the system we have in our shop is so old that it's just. Heating water, letting it go, yep. like repeating it the just cycle never more stops than it running. should. Yeah. Right. Um, the cost to replace that is like thirteen thousand dollars, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but if we're gonna live there for another five years, yeah. if it reduces our bill by that much, it's it's gonna yeah. be worth it. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, and something else that we had um, kind of talked about is you know when you're talking about the thermostats and the hot water heating systems and different things to that effect. Um, your house is also in floor radiant heat, right. so adjusting your thermostat, which is a great energy saving cost, may not be the best thing when you have a hot water, you know, in floor radiant heating system, right. because you should just set it at a nice temperature, let it coast, opposed to a forced air system, 
-hmm. it's good to change that thermostat because it can kick on just before you come home and reheat the house and different things to that right. effect. Yeah, upgrading the thermostat on a four stair unit or a, a hot water baseboard unit is, is a really good way to go because you can. It, and there's even some of these real smart systems that will, you know, that you don't even need to do anything. They they, there's sensors that you know Sense recognize when you're walking the in the house, or, and, you, and you put these sensors in the How in the, yeah, you put these sensors in the in the high you know, uh, traffic, you know areas. traffic areas, and so it actually starts to to sense. Huh. Okay, it, it it recognizes patterns, and so if it hasn't seen anybody walk by one of these high traffic areas for a few hours, it'll automatically lower the heat to a certain temperature that you've you know already pre-programmed it to do. And then when it senses somebody walk by, it'll bump it back up, yeah. and, and it, it well, and automatically does that. Well, and having good zones in your house yeah. too. If they're again, if you're on the baseboard heating system, you have different zones. So if mm -hmm. there's parts of your house that you don't utilize as much, like ours is, we have an upstairs downstairs um, property, and we don't go downstairs as much as we are upstairs. So our heat is at a higher That's temperature upstairs. That's common for a lot of yep. families. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so those are some, some different things as far as that goes. But there's some other really interesting, we've got a whole laundry list of stuff. What about like windows? That's my curiosity. What do you, have you guys experienced? I replaced uh, all my windows for the same thing that Lance did. And it, that's a comfort thing, I think. I mean, there's not a cost savings there. It's yeah. really, really expensive. To replace, can you lose a lot so, of heat through your So the, the energy, the AHFC, the Alaska Housing Finance uh, Corporation uh, energy rater that came out to our house when we were doing the AHFC rebate program, uh, rated our house, it was an older house, and we got like two stars, you know, <laughs> two star, well, yeah. and, you know, and, and, <laughs> and, and they generated a list of things to do, and, uh, and then they, next to that list, on that list by per item, they wrote, they put like a percentage increase in energy rate. Mm, and, and windows the, was at the, the old, we had list. all old windows in there, and the windows actually didn't, you know, didn't have a much of an impact. It was replace our, you know, our boiler system, our, our furnace system, right. and, and, and replace our hot water heater with an indirect fired water heater because mm -hmm. Believe it or not, we're actually most raising water, the energy efficiency yeah. of your home. Those are going to have a higher impact than the windows. Well, sure. believe it or not, your water heater, if it's just a regular water heater, it's probably your most expensive unit in the house because a, a, a typical water heater is always running. Now, these indirect right. fire water heaters only run when I want to talk about that, though. You know, I've done some research on those hot water heaters, talked to some of our contractors and different things, and something that I think a lot of homeowners don't do is... They don't realize they're supposed to drain those systems and it maintains and keeps them lasting longer. So if you drain it, it increases the energy efficiency of it and then refill it. Um, and it also, you know, helps you not have to replace it as quickly yeah. as you is would that if you didn't drain it. Something then that like I'm on an annual service agreement with my heating guy, he comes out and services it once a year. Is that something he would do? I would ask, ask him, him. You, yeah, yeah, you'd want to ask him, but it, what it does is it cleans out the sediment <laughs> and the sediment's what rusts right, out to the bottom of the tank the and different things to that effect. But back to the window, I want to just touch on that. Lance is abs you know, really absolutely correct in the fact that it doesn't raise your energy rating and you know the energy saving costs all that much, but it is a comfort thing mm -hmm. and it is an aesthetic thing, a resale thing. So I mean, because I don't want to get close to some of my windows. It's cool, like, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, and yeah. so you get the other double pane, yeah. the nicer upgraded windows, the Anderson windows. I mean, each of those have a higher quality. They also have UV protectant and different mm -hmm. things in it. They will help with your energy bills. So there's a whole level of windows on what they can and can't do. And you could sure. do a lot of research. And on I that. did replace some of the windows because I, I knew I had some windows that were a lot more drafty yeah. than Put others. Put your baby and I underneath the window. You don't want that. Um, <laughs> yeah. but, but the big things were I had older garage doors. You know, I replaced the garage doors with, with newer, you know, uh, energy efficient garage doors. And then I added insulation in the attic. And that was a big thing. And then... Believe it or not, just going around my house with a couple of tubes of caulk That's and just a lot of it. caulking every nick and cranny of the house that was that was you know was it open you know and and um, getting those little those little I don't know, little foam things that go in your outlets, uh, outlets, outlets and, yeah. and putting those in all of my outlets those those things kind of you know were were had the biggest return on investment and did yeah. the most. Yeah, there's a lot of other funny little things that we wouldn't think about, you know, the day in, the day out. So, I mean, 
I think we've all seen the big checklist like that, you know, mm -hmm. fix the garage door, improve your insulation, the crawl space in the attic, and um, we'll have a checklist available for people to look at. But some of the other things I thought was kind of interesting, and this is something that you can get your family rallied around, were stuff like washing your clothes in cool water opposed to warm water. You know, that, I always do that. Yeah. More so than my colors don't run together. <laughs> See, was, I do it too, and I have for years because I don't want my colors to—I don't want yeah. the colors to fade. And uh -huh. so I thought, oh yeah, you know, you're not only does it save on energy, but it yeah. also saves on having to buy and replace clothes mm -hmm. more often, and it doesn't break down the materials. As a matter of fact, I almost hang dry all of my clothes yeah. now. I'm sure Lance hang dries all of his yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Never. It's a big concern. <laughs> guess I should do laundry. Do you even know how the washer works, Lance? <laughs> we um, have a very nice energy efficient washer and dryer. Yeah, which is also really kind of key. You know, I have that as a note, um, picking high efficiency appliances and mm -hmm. different things to that effect. Window shades. I mean, buying window shades that you can block out the cold mm -hmm. and yeah. block out the heat so that your temperatures stay, you know, good yeah. inside the house mm -hmm. is is really um, a good one as well. And then getting on auto build, you know, what is that? Um, For what? Auto build auto pay, pay with where you know they need to after companies. a couple of years so that it kind of keeps that cost down for you. That's an energy. Yes. Not really saving costs, but it is a, you know, saving budgeting. budgeting. Especially for yeah. us Alaskans in the wintertime when your bills can be so high, yeah. right? In the summertime when they're so low, it kind of even heals it out mm -hmm. through the, the year. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then fireplace. Lots of us have fireplaces. And yeah, I put a wood burning stove. I had a regular fireplace in my mm -hmm. new house, and, and I actually, your fireplace, if you just have a regular fireplace, that's the most, that's the least efficient. You know, place a big call. hole in your house. Yeah, I got a call from a client actually one time, and they go, "Nani, I didn't know our utility bills were going to be so high. Oh my gosh, it's so expensive. Like our heating bill was insane this month." I'm like, "Really? Did you do anything different? You know, blah blah." blah. You know, I started talking. Anyways, come to find out, they had went to do a fire. And then they had opened up the flu, and, and it was like December, and they left the flu open yeah, for a month and a half. And all, all, going, yeah. all that money going out the fireplace. So I, I, put, I put a wood burning stove yeah. insert in our fireplace, yeah. and we love it, and that tightened up the hole. And you know, with these gas. Uh, well, I'm saying know, people actually just seal off the yeah, fireplace if they don't want to pay to do that. They right. just seal or, it off and don't use or it. Or put in these gas uh, fireplaces that, you know, mm -hmm. those are really good too. So. Well, I tell you, I walk by my garage door every day, and I can see the outside on the bottom. And I think that's probably losing a lot of energy. I should yeah. probably do something. So even your door seals. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Well, you know, I want to get, a, you know, kind of some key points here for people to take away. Um, my key point personally is there's a lot of um, money saving tips and things you can do. But ultimately, the way I look at it is your house is your home and there's got to be quality of life, you know, and living there. And you can get so stuck around, let's, you know, do this, let's do that. You know, turning off the lights. I mean, I've walked into people's houses and the lights are always off. And I'm like, why are you walking around in the dark? You know, it's well because we're trying to save energy. I think that's great. Yet, I mean, what is your quality of life? Right. In and Alaska, so, you need light. On the well, yeah. I feel with my kids that we're always heating the outdoors because they're always leaving the doors open and whatnot. But, right. Well, yeah. in the summertime, hopefully, you turn <laughs> down your heat. Yeah. It's not as big of a deal, and they don't do that in the wintertime. But so, the, to me, that's what it, you know, quality of life. The windows, you replace them because it's improving the quality of life. Mm -hmm. It's keeping that cold draft off of you. Right. It does have. Have some um, it does translate to some resale value um, to some level but ultimately um, I think consumers will see the quality of life features in some of those upgrades and different things to that effect sure what do you guys um, definitely you know keep in mind if you're buying uh, an existing house if you're using Alaska housing financing you can sign a form uh, at origination when you're you're getting your loan saying that you do intend to do energy upgrades in the next year even if you don't do them mm -hmm. no harm no foul but if you do them, then you have the chance of decreasing your interest rate. Oh, that's awesome. that's cool. That's yeah. huge. That's huge. Yeah, I didn't realize that if you, you could sign that form at closing, mm -hmm. and then once you do them, you submit what you've done, and then they reduce the interest rates. How does that work? Right. So how it works is um, you sign the form intending that you're going to do it, and you do just what Lance did. You get an energy rater out to your house. He gives you a list of what you can do to upgrade your house, your energy efficiency. And depending on how many steps you upgrade your house, um, your interest rate can go down up to a quarter percent. Normally it's an eighth of a percent, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. over a 30 year mortgage, if you're going to have the house for a while, it, it could be worth it. Right. Yeah. Well, in the lieu of the rebate, that's, you know, still somewhat of a <laughs> yeah. rebate uh, yeah. out there. Anything particularly you like for people to take away as far as energy saving tips there, Lance? I think it was covered. 
Awesome. awesome. All right. Yeah. Well, um, thanks so much for joining us, you guys. You. Uh, Lance and Nani with the Bailey team. If you have any energy saving questions, feel free to contact us. Or contact tips that them. we thought about, go ahead and post them in there yeah. so that everybody can. Any other them. tips? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> share yeah, go to the Facebook page, Alaska Real Estate Live. <laughs> or Alaska Real Estate Talk. Sorry. We're breaking them in. <laughs> yeah, and uh, make sure you like it and share the page. Uh, we'd love to hear any other tips you guys have that we didn't mention. So thanks so much for joining us and join us every Wednesday at noon. We'll see you All next right. week. See ya. Thanks.